Hey everybody, it's Christine at Ziedman Development, and today we're going to take a look at survey response data from every action coming into the razor's edge using Importacular. So, as always, where you put this data in Razor's Edge is going to depend entirely on what you need in the Razor's Edge. So I'm going to show you a couple of different options that you could potentially use and fully want to recognize that what you end up needing may be completely different than any of these. So if these options don't work for where you need your survey data, please do let us know. We're happy to help you work through that but just wanted to kind of demonstrate some ideas. So the first place that I want to start is actually on our actions tab. So if you're sending out your survey questions from every action in a format that you want to track, track with a razor's edge action, um, you can absolutely purchase the functionality in Importacular to use actions. And if you do that, um, you could set it up somewhat like I've done here. So you can see I have created an action where I've listed what day we sent the question out. I have a, created a category. Um, I have made a specific action type and I've checked that all off with a completed date just so I can track that information. I've then created an action attribute that allows me to track what question so I've set up different categories in my action attributes for those questions. So you can see I've got data transformation to make sure I get the right category depending on what question they're answering. And then I've got my description linked to the survey response. So that's definitely an option. We could also maybe add a notepad here if we're working with that information. And if we want to track who asked these questions, we can do that as well if we have the solicitor slash canvasser data destination to track those relationships. If you don't have that action destination or you don't want to use it for this purpose, another thing you could work with would be your constituent attributes or maybe your constituent notepad. So let's go ahead and just pop up a constituent notepad. Let's call it our survey question and we can pick a type Got to give that a different name, sorry about that. And now let's go ahead and we can pick our information. So if we had a specific notepad type, we're just going to pick personal for right now. Add that date, let's use our date canvassed. And then we could put, say, our survey response in the notes and our survey question in the description. So that would be an option. An attribute would look similar to what we just looked at with the action attribute. We would just have to work with our constituent attributes instead. So hope this is helpful in thinking through some of the places where you could put this information. Um, I also recognize that you may ask these questions with a specific razor's edge field in mind. So in those cases, you may want to just add the response where it would go. So um, maybe your survey question asks something along the lines of um, affiliation to your organization, and then that affiliation should be mapped to a constituent code. In that case, you wouldn't work with these attributes or notes at all. You would come to constituent codes and you would use that survey response to generate your constituent codes. So lots of other ways that you might be using those service or survey questions, lots of other places you might potentially want to put this data. So as I mentioned already, um, if that's something that you can, you need some help working through, please let us know and we're happy to talk you through it. Thanks so much for joining me today for this walkthrough of the survey questions. I hope that it's been helpful and have a great day.